All right, now we're gonna make a sauce that's great for, uh, especially for pork chops or pork tenderloin. You can also use it with chicken. Um, it was inspired by an Instagram post that I saw from Cook's Illustrated, but I couldn't actually find the recipe, so I just decided I'd make something myself. And um, we're gonna use applesauce. These unsweetened applesauce. I'm gonna use three tablespoons of applesauce. And you, if you watch my videos, you know that I don't always, or I often do not, measure things. Um, but the reason I'm measuring now is because you don't have to use these measurements. My point is, I'm going to make it this way according to the measurements that I'm giving you and according to the measurements that are going to be in the description. And then you can tweak it any way you want. If you like more mustard, add more mustard. If you want more applesauce taste, add that. If you want more honey, add that. Okay, so we have three tablespoons of applesauce. All right, now we're going to add one tablespoon of yellow mustard. And by the way, I love yellow mustard. I love mustards in general, but I really love mustard, yellow mustard. If I have a hot dog, I like to have a little hot dog with my mustard, not the other way around. Okay, so one tablespoon of yellow mustard. Then we're gonna do one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And then we're going to do one tablespoon of a grainy mustard. And that, if you're watching closely, you also see that these are not exactly tablespoons. They're fairly level tablespoons. So that was a whole grain mustard, okay? Then we're going to add four teaspoons of honey. So four teaspoons is actually one tablespoon plus one teaspoon. So we're going to fill up the tablespoon and then try to get it out of there. It's always a challenge to get honey out of whatever it is you're measuring from. Okay. And then we're gonna add one more teaspoon of honey. Now again, if you want it to be, now honey is sweet and it's bitter at the same time. So if you want it to be a little bit sweeter, a little bit more bitter, uh, use more honey. If you want it to have more of a mustardy taste, uh, use more mustard. You can use any one that you like. And more of one, more of the other. Uh, or you could use more applesauce. Um, also, I think a great variation for this dish would be to use um, truffle honey. Okay, now we're just going to stir it up really well. Try to get off the spoon so we can get everything that's on the spoon into the sauce, which is mostly honey that's stuck to the spoon, right? There we go. I don't like to waste anything. As you probably know if you watch my videos, right? And we're just going to mix that up real well. Okay, then we're going to taste it. Hmm. Now this has a nice balance. You can taste the applesauce. You can taste the mustard. You can taste a little bit of sweetness. But again, Tweak it any way you like from the basic recipe. You can see photos of a dish using this sauce at my Instagram, which is at Chef's Apprentice, cook like a pro. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.